Leo, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot. This is going to be your monthly reading for the month of August. First, we're going to start by lighting this red candle here. And now that I'm thinking about it, um, you rule the heart and the heart is red. So this candle is significant at, in that way for me right now for you. Um, we're going to light this candle with the intention to receive the highest messages for you, the most loving and the most beneficial at this time. Now this candle, I just did the Taurus reading and this candle has been making a lot of noise. So if the noise becomes something that I can't tolerate in the reading, I'm going to go ahead and blow it out. But at least the intention was set and hopefully she's a quiet candle. Anyway, let's go ahead and start by lighting the Palo Santo to cleanse the space. So it's just us and the message. If you are new here, welcome, happy to have you. If you are a returning viewer, hi, it's nice to see you. Leo, I'm feeling very strong and sturdy energy from you here. Very vibrant. We could see the strength card here. We could see the Ten of Wands card here. We could see the King of Pentacles. We could see the Emperor. I just feel such strong, sturdy energy. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. You feel like you're at a point right now where like you're so strong and you're like knowing yourself more and more each day. Let's go ahead and inhale if you feel called and exhale. We cleanse the space for Leo. Happy Happy birthday, Leo. Almost forgot. And I'm wearing a yellow shirt. All right, Leo, let's check your chakras. It's the throat. Okay, let's go ahead and pull a card for your throat chakra this month. Leo's throat, king of wands. How to work with this energy. Four of swords, ten of swords in reverse. You're not to be messed with this month, Leo. You're not to be messed with you are coming into an energy where you know yourself so well that you're not tolerating certain things anymore, right? And if you see these these crystals here, all right, and I've never seen this like gecko lizard energy. So if you're someone who likes lizards or like geckos or reptiles, that spirit is coming through and saying, hi, remember me? Remember you, you like geckos or reptiles or lizards? I'm here and I have a message for you, okay? So, um, yeah, like very, your aura is surrounded by yellow and I really felt that. Again, like this yellow, bright yellow, like, like confident, like super confident this month, okay? You're feeling really strong. You're feeling really sexy. You're feeling really magnetic. You're feeling very attractive. You're just like, what's up? I am here. What is up? You got something to say? Go ahead and say it. And we'll have a conversation, right? 
you're not picking a fight, but you are definitely not to be messed with. Look at all of those. Like when you walk through life, okay, walk through life with those crystals in mind around your back, right? Picture those crystals kind of coming out of your back, okay? A way to work. Oh, so this is your throat, right? So yes, with this King of Wands, you're just how you speak, how you move, how you communicate to others and yourself is coming off in a very attractive way. In a very attractive way, okay? You like how you speak. You may have a very, um, like, you may have a very, a, a ver you may have a very attractive voice. Um, and you might be a good singer, okay? If you are not a singer currently, you have a good voice, Leo, and I would encourage you to sing, okay? If you've been wanting to start a YouTube channel, using your voice on YouTube and singing would be a good idea for you. Using your voice somehow on a platform where people can hear you and where your voice is going to be able to help heal people because your words are attractive. Some of you like to write poetry. It would be recommended for you to write poetry, to do spoken word, to sing, to... Yeah, the biggest thing here is like spoken word, poetry, singing, music. Just however you can get your voice out there for people to hear. It's really attractive. A way to work with this energy is the four of swords here. You are, and here's that sun card, right? With you in mind here, Leo, with that more sun energy coming through here. It's just very bright. August feels very bright for you so far. And that's what I tapped into as soon as I started even thinking about sure. I was washing my hands in the bathroom before I did your reading and I was gonna do Pisces and then I was like, nope. Leo is coming through here very strongly, like this strong, sturdy, like wood, like a dark mahogany wood. Yeah, you're just, you've built yourself up in such a way where you're kind of untouchable this month in August. I can't wait to see what comes through for you, but yeah, you're pretty much untouchable this month, okay? Now, a way to work with this energy is to have peace within the mind. Don't let your mind be disturbed in any way, okay? And that doesn't mean that nothing outside of you is, is tempting you to be disturbed, but it means that you're not, not going to let anything outside of you disturb your inner peace, okay? The Four of Swords is ultimate inner peace. Jupiter in Libra. So we are, are highlighting and expanding harmony. Okay. I feel like I'm kind of floating right now. Like I'm so, you're so grounded, Leo. You're so grounded. I'm so bad with knowing which ones are fixed. I'm pretty sure Leo is fixed. You're feeling like really fixed energy okay let's go ahead and pull three cards for the energy this month for you three cards for the energy ace of wands there we go page of wands and the devil with the seven of wands i had a feeling like just wand like you're feeling so there's so much fire here leo there's so much fire here, Leo. We're gonna learn more about what this devil is, okay? Ace of Wands is strong, passionate energy. This is you feeling like, I am so ready. Like, I'm ready. Charged up, fired up. You're feeling fired up, Leo. Super fired up. For some of you guys, actually making a fire would be good for you, okay? Actually making a fire, meditating to candlelight, but something a little bit more robust would be beneficial for you, right? So 
if you have access to a fire pit, it would be good for you to do a ritualistic fire perfectly, preferably once a week, right? Preferably once a week, okay, would be, would be good for you. If you're able to be near fire each night, being more, you're tapping into your sacred energy, okay? You're tapping into an energy of, of sacredness where things have felt a little bit mundane. You're kind of like, okay, now is the time. The time is now. And for a lot of you guys, you're going to be... Um, eating healthier foods. If you if you eat processed foods at this time, I'm gonna recommend that you stop. Your body, body has naturally been telling you to stop eating processed food, but you're really gonna feel that this month. Your body is wanting to be extremely healthy, okay? Your body wants to be healthy. Your body does not want any sort of inflammation on it, okay? Um, Eating fruits that are yellow would be good. Okay, so like 11-11 bananas, right? Lemons, uh, corn here. I know it's a vegetable, but corn would be really good. Yellow peppers, consuming yellow food is going to be important for you this month, okay? And eating healthy apples, grapes, raspberries, lots of fruits and vegetables. Stay away from the dairy. Stay away from ice cream. Stay away from cheese, okay? We want healthy Drink more water, less caffeine, okay? Less TV, more nature, okay? Less scrolling, more fire, okay? More fire, more singing, more making music, okay? Ace of Wands can be sexual energy too, right? Feeling really sexual, okay? With this page of wands here, you are tapping into an energy of creation, okay? You literally, there's that gecko again. What are you doing down there? Your spirit animal could very well be a lizard or a gecko, okay? Like a fire lizard, like a fire chameleon. If some of you guys, be serious about this, have been wanting to adopt or purchase like some sort of lizard, reptile, chameleon. Tarot saying go for it. But again, chameleons are expensive and they're very high maintenance, but having the energy of a lizard near you would be beneficial. If you can have pictures of lizards near you, okay? For some of you guys, you've been wanting to move towards a warmer climate, okay? Or you have felt like you were shedding a skin over the last year and that final layer of skin is being shed in August, okay? If you guys have ever had an interest in in like fire walking, you can look into that, right? I'm not too certain how much there is of that. Like I'm from New York, so like where that is, you know, maybe there's something in the city or something like that, but um, walking on coals, okay, martial arts, and really being aware that a lot of energy for you comes from your hands, comes from your hands. You have a very fiery energy right now, and I can't stop saying it. So if some of you guys have been wanting to literally work with fire, okay, so like, what do they call them? Like fire throwers right that you see at like festivals where people are like throwing flames with their hands or like yeah some sort of, of like passion that has to do with like throwing fire with your hands you're being asked to to really use fire okay now this devil energy is coming through here You guys might see yourselves as, take this as it resonates, but you guys might see yourself as like a dark person, like a darker, right? Maybe very sexual, maybe very addicted to things in general. Maybe you are someone who likes darker things, right? You're attracted to horror. You're attracted to, um, you know, uh, more of like the taboo things in life, right? 
So I want to learn about why this devil is here, but there's something about you and releasing, right? Because that chain here, right? It's like half of the chain is sitting on the white pillar and half of it is off of the white pillar. So it's kind of like, who do you really think that you are? Do you think that you're someone who's light or do you think that you're someone who's dark? And there are people that are on both sides, right? But you're someone who, who tends to lean more so towards kind of the, the darker side, right? The more taboo side. Okay, let's learn more about that. And when you look in the mirror, you see yourself as that. You're also someone who, who contemplates reality on a deep level. You know, the stars might be very important to you, okay? Being out in nature, in the darkness, looking at the stars will be important, okay? And there are things in your life right now that are kind of coming to a dead end, okay? With this tree here, okay, this dead tree, you've, you've, there's going to be an end to how you've been attempting to reach some sort of abundance through certain avenues, right? Your frame of perception is going to be changing and a way that you used to perceive various situations is going to change a lot for you this August. You're going through kind of a spiritual cleansing in a way where you're going to be shedding an old skin and having a brand new perspective on a lot. Like it's a very cleansing, healing, sacred month for you, okay? I'm drinking some mint water, by the way. I love like getting fresh mint from the garden and then making cold ice water with it. All right, so let's get three cards to clarify the Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Devil. King of Wands, again, Three of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, please. The Fool, okay. King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so there's things where you're like, I'm, I'm so done with that. I'm so done with that. King of Swords in reverse with the Temperance here in reverse, right? Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. We are ready to, we're cutting out the BS this month, okay? Ace of Wands being clarified by the King of Wands again, Leo. You're on it. You're on fire this month, okay? You're on fire this month. Full body goosebumps on fire. Can't say it enough. If you're trying to find a date, right? If you're single, now is the time, okay? Regardless of love, I'm not picking up anything regarding love here, okay? Except for sexual energy here, right? It's a heightened time for sexual energy. It just is. You are... You have all of this sexual energy in you. I would recommend to save that as much as you can and express it not through intimacy, especially if you're single, but through these sacred rituals that you're gonna be creating for yourself, okay? Be outside alone in front of a fire, connecting with, with yourself, right? Connecting with with God, connecting with the stars, connecting with the energy of the earth, connecting with the dirt and the soil and your body, okay? Strength training would be good too if you like kind of like lifting weights or like chopping wood would be good for you, right? Don't go to the gym, chop wood in the backyard, right? That feels good and you chop wood for the fire. So you're getting the strength training on top of um, having a fire for yourself. Now the page of wands clarified by the three of wands. You have um, Sun and Aries, this very big charge towards, yeah, you're just, you're just, 
you have so much passion right now. You have so much passion. You're feeling excited about the future. The future is bright for you, right? Sun in Aries. Our steps moving forward, we're confident. We're secure in ourselves. We are ready. We're ready to start building the life that we want to live. This is future oriented, okay? No more looking at the past. We are the future. What's done is done. The past is the past. Yeah, we're changing a lot, okay? We really are changing a lot. Now, the devil is clarified by the wheel of fortune and the fool, okay? Wheel of fortune in reverse. Your old ways of being are no longer working. Your old ways of being are no longer working, Leo, time for a change, time for new, okay? The fool is madman energy, mad woman energy, okay? Leaving it all behind, okay? And moving, and here's the sun again, so much sun energy for you, so much yellow. I really can't take that, okay? Um, I want you to have as much yellow as you're able to have in your house. Get, be in the sun too, right? Get into the sun, sit in the sun, soak up the rays, okay? Let yourself feel heated by the sun, charge in the sun. If you're also able to wake up for the sunrise, that would be really great. Like, I feel like you're like getting, you're like coming into this very natural, like, you're purifying yourself on a deep level this month. New, fresh starts. Fresh starts, starting with the body. The body. You're purifying your mind so hardcore this month. I'm so excited for you. I'm totally claiming this energy even as a Taurus. All right, three cards for advice, please. Ace of Cups, Five of Swords in reverse, and the Devil again. Why is the Devil here for the advice? Two of Cups in reverse. conquer yourself <sighs> full body goosebumps you it's not time to think about love okay love is not where you need to be focusing on right now ace of cups in reverse is self-love ultimate self-love sorry but screw everybody else Sorry, you know I don't talk like that normally. Screw everybody else. It's you time. Leo, it's you time. Let's go. Let's go. This month, it's all about you, baby. All about you. Okay? Don't let anybody make you think anything about yourself it's you and how you feel about yourself and your energy is incredible okay your energy is incredible go into this if you make a point to do everything i just talked to you about waking up for sunrise eating cleaner last time on the tv last time scrolling more 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 time making music more time making poetry more making videos for yourself for for YouTube or, or submitting poetry to local magazines or just writing poetry for yourself and then burning it in a fire, doing fires when you get home from work, sitting under the stars by yourself, meditating, getting into the sacred energy of your body, chopping wood, using the wood to go into the fire, right? Not focusing on love, okay? Five of Swords in reverse is us like we're over it. We're so over it. We're over worrying if we can trust other people. We're over worrying that we have to watch our backs. We're over worrying that someone's gonna hurt our feelings. We're over worrying that like 
We can't trust the moves that we're making. No, we are over it. The advice is literally to go in to yourself. You're going to touch parts of yourself that scare you a lot. Two of Cups in reverse. It's not about love. This is about self-love. Union with the self. I don't think you've ever really known yourself like this. Ever. Okay? This is going to be really big for you. Okay? You can't avoid yourself this month. Okay? It's not about love. If you've been focusing on love, this is not the month for it. You're building yourself up. Like, soup, like you're gonna feel like superhuman. You're gonna feel like you, like, you, it, I have had full body goosebumps like most of this reading. A card for Leo. Two cards, the vision and the nectar in reverse. Yes, now the nectar in reverse can be us, like, no, nope. no intimacy for some of you guys. If you are engaged in watching pornography, no more porn, right? No more um, masturbation, okay? This is really allowing all of our sexual energy to stay in the body and not be released. You release too much of your sexual energy outside of yourself. You lose too much of it and then you feel depleted. By harnessing your sexual energy, you become so strong, so strong. And the vision, right? You're having like a cr your own like crazy vision quest, okay? You're gonna, and for, for a lot of you guys, you do want a family, okay? I saw it in there. I saw that in reality, all you want is safety, security, and to have your own like family unit, right? You have this very sexual energy, okay? But I think it's a little bit of a front for how much you actually want family you want to be with you and your unit in a very primal way right like a nuclear family energy and you just want home you want a home home energy home comes when you come home to yourself okay you're gonna come home to yourself you're gonna feel like the like the magi i want to say i don't even know anything about that but like um a, a ma mage sage you're like bringing magic into your being and you're gonna feel like like that person at the temple like who's found themselves right like people are gonna seek you out for wisdom after what you're doing this month okay very wise and that doesn't mean that you have a lot of friends, right? Have a lot of friends, have a lot of fa You're doing you right now. You're definitely in solitude this month, okay? It's not about anybody else but you. Coming into union with yourself, okay? An energy that we want Leo to embody more. You're transforming hardcore change and love transformation this transformation that you're going like you're shedding you're like changing form okay you're in the beginning process of changing form and love change right you have to accept the fact that you are changing and you have to love yourself through this change and through this change you will come into love and 
love is not going to come first you changing into this this superhuman sage master whatever is gonna like you're gonna it's, it's gonna be nuts for you okay so much color so much color and warmth and yeah let's go ahead and pull an animal spirit for you earthworm came through now you're going to feel b okay yeah you're gonna feel if you've been feeling lower energy you're gonna feel feel like you think that you've felt busy but you're not actually doing anything with the schedule that i'm talking to you about you're actually going to be working smarter not harder okay you're gonna feel as though you have so much energy buzzing and surrounding you i feel like you're gonna feel like you're buzzing all month you're gonna feel hypercharged like you're vibrating with this radiant yellow energy confident if you've had any insecurities lately <laughs> say goodbye to those Say goodbye to those. Honey, a tablespoon of honey in the morning with some tea would be good, with some turmeric tea. Watching the sunrise, having your turmeric tea with a tablespoon of, of honey. Mm hmm. Nice. Okay. All right, Leo, I'm gonna go ahead and close it off here. This is probably my favorite reading for you ever. Um, so thanks, I will see you in September. Bye-bye.